All right, Ranch Bound Tuesday, April 16th. Jumping into a session recap here. We came into the session wanting to see how ES was going to be trading versus this 5100 slash 5090 key zone. You could see it resolved into just a tighter range day, which is well within the realm of expectations following a expansion day. What we have on the daily chart, let me remove this, hold on. There we go. So what we have on the daily chart is intermediate term range, right? Price break support last week shows follow through on Monday below that 51.95 key area. Remember context is super important. We're always looking at what is the context of the higher time frame setup. 51.95 slash 5200 was the key essentially pivot to be monitoring for this week. If sellers can maintain price below that point, it shows that the leg lower is not complete. And we saw part of that yesterday. Now for today, coming into today, the main watch was how price trades versus this prior weekly high over here from 2022. So if you take a look, here's your weekly chart. If you take a look at this weekly high, the high right there is 50.91 and a quarter. So price, we have a breakout, right? Back in February, early February, price breaks out. Now, currently retesting that prior breakout point on the weekly time frame chart. Currently three consecutive weeks lower. It is only Tuesday, so it's too early to be analyzing that weekly bar. But essentially what we wanted to see for today was whether buyers were going to step in and at least attempt to defend this 5100 slash 5090 zone. Now it's not uncommon when you have price testing these key areas after a, after an expansion move or some type of volatility expansion type of moon, move to see this compression day. Right, so now we have a daily doji in an area that could be considered a key weekly pivot. Right, this is definitely an indecision bar. We don't have any side clearly in control here. So, what we want to watch for tomorrow is how price trades versus today's range. We know that 5100 slash 5090, that zone is a key area of support. And so, we'll just be watching to see if sellers continue to step in below essentially this near-term structure, we know that you know the move lower is not yet complete. Buyers start to step in here, essentially up through today's high through that 51.25 area. Be looking at you know potential retracement of Monday's move, potentially up into 51.50, that'll be that 50%, potentially into 51.67, and maybe even beyond. Uh, keep in mind on the daily chart, the breakdown did trigger up into 51.95, right? So way up here. So we'll see how this structure continues to build out uh, as far as what we have on the four hour as well as the hourly. We're still trading within a near term downtrend. So this trend, Remember, a trend is identified not by a trend line, but by market structure. So we have a series of lower highs here. You got the big washout from Monday. This trend technically does not break. This downtrend does not break until you see sustained action up through 5200, 5210, because that is the most recent lower high pivot. All right, so definitely some buying activity today with that tighter range day, but bulls, buyers, certainly not out of the woods by any means just yet here. So be looking at how price trades versus today's doji on ES. And generally speaking, I like to primarily focus on the endpoints of the range. So that's gonna be today's high and today's low as the primary focus for tomorrow's session depending on, as always, what type of overnight action we have. We do have Beige Book tomorrow at 2 p.m., I believe, so that is potentially a market moving event to keep our eyes on as well. Now, taking a look at NQ, so NQ, similar in that it triggered the daily breakdown. NQ, a little bit later, triggered that daily breakdown yesterday. ES was last week. 
Now, NQ was quite interesting for today because it was coming into an area of support that is quite visible on the four hour chart. So you could see how well price has responded to this 17,800 area previously. Prior resistance from January then holds as support. So primary watch coming into today's session was how price traded versus that 17,800 level. You can see pretty much a perfect test during the overnight session, right? Two tests that hold nicely as support. And not only that, what do we, what do we know versus this level? Well, there's responsive buyers there. You have a 120 point bounce. So we know that this is a significant area of support. When you see a move like this, 120 point, 125 point bounce, responsive buyers in this area. First test over here, 75 point bounce. So we know, you know, point blank that there are responsive buyers here. We don't have to guess about that. We don't need a crystal ball or anything like that. It's literally right there on the chart. And so coming into today's sesh, we're looking at 17,800. We're looking at this prior day low. This is why I like to keep a pretty simple framework when I come into the session. Look at how responsive price is versus pretty much every test of this prior day low. This is this is the beauty of range days. Once you have identified a tradable range day, there's definitely a tradable range day and kind of have the endpoints of the range set, this can be a very, very lucrative session, right? Imagine you are just long versus prior day low all day. So one of my favorite types of sessions personally can be quite good. Now, a session like this is not going to be as good with certain types of strategies. Strategies like pullback to VWAP are going to be hit or miss with this type of day simply because remember VWAP is designed to get you involved with a trend move. Now we will see some areas where it is respected, but again, look how many areas that it's not. So understand you know, what type of day price is showing you in relation to the strategies that you like to trade or the strategies that you can trade within your playbook. Overall exceptional action here in NQ. Again, can be very, very good. Don't don't call this chop. This can be definitely a very lucrative day if you know what you're looking for and if you have your expectations set correctly coming into a session like this. Now, as far as what we're looking at for tomorrow, this one is actually a little bit trickier here simply because what we have now is price holding that 17,800 level, but look directly above. Right, that key support area is now going to be acting as resistance. So that does pose some challenges. What I like to see is essentially how price responds versus today's range, very similar to what we're talking about in ES, but caution warranted up above today's high into this 18K, 18080 zone. Again, sellers likely start to attempt to so this is assuming today's high breaks, but sellers likely attempt to step in again once this zone is retested. So I'd be very cautious with any longs up into this zone, preferring to grab any type of longs versus you know a key area of support. All right, so as far as ES and NQ, today's range is gonna be the primary watch for tomorrow's session. ES definitely in a much better location compared to NQ in my opinion. So that may be the focus point, but we do have some solid levels and some solid structure to work with. Is this accumulation down here or is it redistribution for the next leg lower? Time will tell. Hope everyone had a great session. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM in the Traders Think Tank. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the pre-market prep. Have a good afternoon. Later.